take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Redness and swelling inside and outside your nostril. A pimple-like bump inside your nostril. Small bumps around the hair follicles inside your nostril. Folliculitis. Crusting in or around your nostril. Make your mark, take our lead. Treatment for nasal vestibulitis Most cases of nasal vestibulitis can be treated with topical antibiotic creams, such as bacitracin ointment or mupiracin. You may have to use these ointments twice a day for 14 days. If you have boils in your nose, you'll be prescribed oral antibiotics as well as topical ointments. Let's help you make your mark. Sores in the nose commonly develop in response to trauma. A scratch inside the nose, for example, especially if an infection develops. Picking the nose can irritate or break the skin, leading to sores, and inhaling drugs through the nose can have the same effect. Let's help you make your mark. Home treatments. Applying petroleum jelly or using nasal saline spray to keep the nasal passages from drying out. Using creams like pain-free Neosporin to fight infection and reduce pain. Leaving scabs alone and not picking at them. Not smoking or using drugs. Make your mark, take our lead. Nasal furunculosis The infection can occur after an upper respiratory infection or due to chronic nose picking. The infection can cause a painful boil or infected pimple-like area inside the nose, which can lead to pain in the bridge of the nose. Other symptoms may include nasal crusting, Make your mark, take our lead. What are the signs and symptoms of a MRSA infection? Staph infections, including MRSA infections, may appear as boils or abscesses, with pus or drainage present. Sometimes they may look like spider bites. There may be redness, swelling, pain, or warmth at the site of the infection. You may also have a fever. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.